Hello kids, we are now on our week 4 in Mathematics 6. Ngayon ay pag-aaralan natin how to add and subtract decibels and mix decimals through 10 thousands. Para sa ating introduction, after this lesson, ikaw ay inaasahan na makakapag-add at makakapag-subtract ng decimals and mix decimals through 10 thousands without or with regrouping. Huwag magalala dahil tuturuan ko kayo kung paano ito ginagawa sa pinakasimple at pinakamadaling paraan. But before we add and subtract decimals, i-review muna natin kung ano ang place value of decimal numbers. So makikita nyo sa illustration ang decimal point. Then after the decimal point, the numbers are what we call decimal numbers. And the place value, the first one after the decimal point ay ang tenths. Pangalawang number after the decimal point is hundreds. Then, the third number after the decimal point is thousands. And the fourth number after the decimal number is the ten thousands. Matapos inyong matutuhan ang place value ng decimals, let us now recall the process on how to round off decimals. First, add 1 to the digit in the rounding place if the digit to its right is 5 or greater, otherwise leave the digit unchanged. This means na you have to add 1 sa digit na inyong i-round off kung ang digit na nasa kanan nito ay 5 o mas higit pa. Kung hindi naman, hayaan nyo lang na ang digit ay hindi mabago. Second, drop all digits after the rounding place. So, kung ang inyong place value na ni-round off or digit na ni-round off ay nadagdaga ng isa, the numbers after it ay idadrop nyo na. And I will show you how it is being done. Let me explain to you the example in your module. A birdhouse was built 6N to 143 meters above the ground, round to the nearest whole number. For step 1, you have to identify the rounding place. So since we are going to round to the nearest whole number, number 6 here is the whole number. Ang number na nakalagay bago ang decimal point ay tinatawag nating whole number. Step 2. Tingnan ang digit kung saan nakalagay ito sa kanan ng rounding place. Ang rounding place natin dito ay ang ating whole number na 6. If the digit is less than 5, do not change the digit in the rounding place. Kung ang number ay mas mababa sa 5, huwag ninyong babaguhin ang digit sa rounding place. Kung ang digit naman ay 5 o mas higit pa, magdadagdag ka ng isa sa digit ng rounding place. Step 3, drop all digits to the right of the rounding place. Since ang ating rounding place ay 6 at ang 2 is less than 5, you have to drop all the digits to the right of the rounding place. Therefore, the birdhouse is about 6 meters high. For example, ang ating inner round of I0 and 2,564. Ang ating round off dito ay nasa thousands place. So, ang titignan natin ay yung digit na nasa kanan ng ating rounding place na 6. Since ang 4 ay less than 5, we will remain the digit 6 unchanged. So, ang ating magiging sagot ay 0 and 2,560 or just 0 and 256. Maaari kayo maglagay ng 0 or just drop the 0. Another example is 462 and 15 hundredths. So, ang ating year round off dito ay ang 4. So, since ang digit na nasa kanan ng ating rounding place na 4 is 6, which is greater than 5, we will round up. Add 1 to the digit of the rounding place. So, 4 become 5. Then, we will add zeros. So, kapag whole number, always remember na yung uh, remaining digits, lalagyan natin ng zero. Unlike dun sa decimals, na we can drop the zero at the right. So, our answer here is 500. 
We are now on your learning task 1. Estimate the sum of the given situation by rounding the amount to the highest special value. Write your answer in your notebook or on your answer sheet. So, dito sa learning task 1 nyo, you are going to estimate the sum. So, once we say sum, ito yung addition. So, dito, kapag nag estimate ang aalalahan ninyo ay ang inyong knowledge in rounding off numbers. Since we are going to round off the highest peso value, we are talking about, o pinag-uusapan natin, ay ang mga number, which is the whole number. So, in this learning task, Kenna bought these items at the grocery for shampoo, 24 pesos and 75 centavos, for powder, 8 pesos and 28 cents, for bath soap, 7 pesos and 19 centavos, and toothpaste, 9 and 80 pesos. So, about how much did she spend? At para mas madali niyong masagutan ng inyong learning task, ito ang halimbawa. Michelle sells the following items to her friends. For face shield, 15 pesos and 50 centavos. Alcohol, 38 pesos. One box of gloves, 22 and 75 pesos. One box of face mask is 175 pesos. The question is, about how much will it cost if one of our friends will buy all the items? So, ang gag... Maaari nyo isulat ang lahat ng items sa ganitong pamamaraan. Sa tapat ng bawat item, maaari nyo isulat ang kanilang presyo. Since we are going to estimate the cost to the highest peso value, ang titingnan natin dito ay ang mga digit na nasa pinakamataas na place value. So, for the face shield, since ang 1 ay katabi ay 5, we have to add 1 to 1. So, this will be 20 pesos. For box of gloves, 2. At ang katabi natin, o katabi ng 2, ay 2. So, we have to round down. We have to remain the number unchanged. So, this will be 20 pesos. For alcohol, since ang ating high peso value here is 3, ang katabi ay 8, so we have to round up, add 1 to number 3. Then we will have 40. And for the box of face mask, we have 7, which is the digit at the right of 1. So we have to add 1, o magdadagdag tayo ng isa sa 1. So that will be 2, then the digits will be 0. So, since nakapag-estimate na tayo, this is the time na pwede na tayo mag-add to get the sum. So, 20 plus 20 plus 40 plus 200 is 280. And we are now on development part. Ang pag-aad at pagsusubtract ng decimals ay kapareho lamang ng paraan ng pag-aad at pagsusubtract ng whole numbers. Ang decimal hanggang 10 thousands ay mayroong apat na digit o apat na numero pagkatapos ng decimal point. So, para mas maalala, maaari nyo balikan ang unang bahagi ng video na ito para maalala nyo ang place value hanggang 10 thousands place. At narito ang mga paraan kung paano mag-add at mag-subtract ng decimal numbers hanggang 10 thousands. Example number 1, add 0 and 25 hundreds plus 0 and 3 hundreds and 0 and 56 10 thousands. So for step 1, i-arrange o ayusin ng mga digit and columns at siguraduhin ang decimal point ay nakalinya. For step 2, maaari kayong maglagay ng zeros sa mga nabakanting decimal place value kung kinakailangan para lahat ng number ay magkaroon ng pare-parehong bilang ng decimal places tulad ng nasa ibaba. At para sa step 3, maaari na kayong mag-add at mag-subtract na parang nag add lang kayo ng whole numbers. At sa halimbawang ito, pinapakita nito na ito ay addition of decimals with regrouping. Makikita ninyo na mayroong number na kinary over sa pagpaplas ng ating mga decimal numbers. And this is what we call addition of decimals with regrouping. 
At ito naman ang example o halimbawa ng addition of decimals without grouping. Hinaalign lang natin ng decimal point, the decimal numbers, and the whole number. And we just add the numbers. And for the subtraction of decimals without grouping, so meron tayo itong 0 and 167 thousands minus 0 and 126 thousands. So, dito, magma-minus lang tayo. Kung unahin natin, syempre, ay yung pinaka-smallest place value na nasa decimal numbers. So, 7 minus 6 is 1. 6 minus 2 is 4. 9 minus 1 is 8. Then, the decimal point. And since we do not have 1s, so, lalagay lang natin ay 0. Pwede natin ilagay yung 0 or hindi natin ilalagay. But, do not forget to put the decimal point. So, nakikita ninyo, we just subtract the decimal numbers without borrowing. So, this is what we call subtraction of decimals without regrouping. At para sa ating subtraction of decimals with regrouping, we have 0 and 286 minus 0 and 28,000. So, the first one to subtract is 6 minus 8. Since makikita ninyo sa ating example, ang 6 ay mas maliit kaysa sa 8, we have to borrow one digit from the other place value which is in the hundreds place. So, 6 will be 16. So, pwede na i-minus ang 16 minus 8 which is 8. Since we have borrowed 1 from 8, 8 became 7. 7 minus 2 is equal to 5. So, 2 minus 0 is 2. Bring down the decimal point and the 0. And this is how we subtract decimals with regrouping. For learning task 2, arrange in column and add the following decimal numbers. Write your answer in your notebook or on your answer sheet. For number 1, 0 and 8 thousands plus two hundreds plus eighty seven ten thousands plus thirty nine hundreds and zero and three thousand six hundred sixty one ten thousands for number two zero and fifty three ten thousands plus seventy one hundreds plus nine hundreds plus fifteen thousands plus 173,000 for number 3 7,000 plus 0 and 3,531 10,000 minus 0 and 126,000 plus 15 hundreds minus 8 hundreds and for the last number for your learning test 2 785 10,000 plus 662 ten thousands. At ang halimbawa kung paano nyo gagawin ang inyong learning task 2. Arrange the decimal numbers in column. You can add 0 to the decimal numbers para 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 sila ng bilang ng decimal numbers. And now, you can add or subtract decimal numbers. We are now on your engagement part. Learning task 3. Solve the problems below. Write your answer in your notebook or on your answer sheet. For number one, three pails have different capacities. The small pail can hold 62 10,000 liters of water. The bigger pail has a capacity of 3,792 10,000 liters, while the biggest pail holds 9,914 10,000 liters. Find the total amount of water that can be stored in the pails. Number 2, a gasoline tank of a car has 4 and 2,893 liters of gasoline. It is driven to a gasoline station and filled with 9 and 6,782 liters. If the tank has 12 and 4,894 after driving to the school and office, how many liters of gasoline were used? Number 3, 3 sticks measuring 3,000 265 ten thousands meters, 2,160 ten thousands meters, and 4,213 ten thousands meters are put end to end. 
what was their total length. Learning task 4, solve the problem. Estimate the total amount. So, maaari nyo balikan ng learning task 1 para maalala kung paano nag estimate ng total amount. Mr. Cruz's monthly income is 75,000 pesos. He divides his income to the following expenses. Food, 22,450 pesos and 89 centavos. Clothes, 15,670 pesos and 25 centavos. Recreation, 5,676 pesos and 63 centavos. And for transportation, 10,067 pesos and 15 centavos. Other amount goes to savings. How much is the savings? Learning task 5. Solve the given problems. Write your answer in your notebook or in your answer sheet. Letter A. Round each number to the nearest 10 thousands. Alalahanin na ang 10 thousands ay ang digit na nasa ikaapat na bilang o ikaapat after the decimal point. Number 1. 2 and 14,672 hundred thousands. Number 2. 6 and 66,666 hundred thousands. Number 3. 9,257 hundred thousands. Number 4. 45 and 12,345 hundred thousands. And number 5, 17 and 45,628 hundred thousands. For letter B, read and solve. Number 1, Mr. Carlos bought a t-shirt for 254 pesos and 95 centavos. Round this off to the nearest peso. Number 2, the sale price of a set of cups and saucers is 117 pesos and 26 centavos. Round this off to the nearest tenths. Congratulations! Natapos mo ang week 4!